Hey, what's up, everybody? Here's another water comparison video. We have two glass bottles of water, and these are both mineral waters. First up is Topo Chino mineral water. This is from Monterrey, Mexico. When I think of fresh water, Mexico is not necessarily the top of my list for, for water, but anyway. This was founded in 1895, and now it's being distributed by Interex Corp from Irving, Texas. Next up is San Pellegrino Sparkling Mineral Water. This is an Italian bottle of water. This was founded in 1899, but now it's owned by Nestle, which bought it in 1997. So these are both bottles from the 1890s, which were later bought out by bigger corporations who now distribute them. San Pellegrino. It has 4% of your daily calcium needs. That's kind of interesting. And this comes in an 8.5 fluid ounce bottle. A 6-pack of this is $4.49. That's pretty expensive. $4.49 for a 6-pack. This was purchased from Donatelli's Italian Food Center. They come in um, several sizes, but here's the, the smaller size that it comes in. Topo Chino was purchased from the store Aldi, and a four pack is $2.69, which is still, it's, it's cheaper than San Pellegrino, but Two dollars and sixty-nine cents for four bottles of water is still kind of expensive, you know. I, I've seen twenty-four packs of bo um, plastic bottles for like three dollars. So for only four bottles, it's kind of expensive. Usually, I'm not a big fan of mineral waters, but we're just going to compare the two, see which one is better. Um, I think this is a regular bottle cap, not a twist off. Let me see. Yeah, I think I need a bottle opener. I think this is the first bo bottled water review, which I needed a bottle opener for. for. You can see it fizzing up. Some bubbles coming coming up there. I normally do not like sparkling water. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this is going to be a pretty biased review. This has a twist off lid. I don't see as many bubbles in this one. On this bottle, on Topo Chino, it says to serve it chilled, which I'm not doing, just because I don't do that for any of the waters I review. It's actually still bubbling up. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, there's still a good amount of bubbles coming up to the top. like um like a coke just without the taste I don't know okay here's something from the San Pellegrino Wikipedia page that I want to read you <laughs> the Wikipedia page for San Pellegrino has a section called uranium content uranium it says in 2007 the German consumer television program Macket reported that San Pellegrino contains uranium Nestle was informed about this and responded uranium was both common in both bottled and tap water and they added that San Pellegrino is not suitable for infants under 12 weeks old <laughs> 
that's not really a good sign. <laughs> I don't think I've um, heard any other bottling company say that their water the water is not suitable for infants um, under 12 weeks old. I don't like doing this. This is not even like water. It's carbonated water. The very first episode of John Drinks Water, where I did not finish the whole bottle, was a carbonated bottle. You, um, you big fans might know which one that is. Ugh. It burns my lips. Ugh. <sighs> I wish I didn't buy a four-pack and a six-pack... Because we'd have to drink the rest of them. I feel like gassy inside because of these stupid carbonated waters. Ugh. Um, okay, so I have to pick a winner between the two. I'm going to say that San Pellegrino is the winner. It's just a little bit, it's like a little bit more mild. There's not as much bubbles. Um, it's not as sparkling. I don't really like the taste of this. And... I'm sorry. I know. I know. There's some countries where it's just very common to drink sparkling water. I spent some time in in uh, Chile, and it was just you know given that if you asked for water, it was sparkling water. You had to specifically ask for not sparkling water if you didn't want sparkling water. But anyway, San Pellegrino is the winner. Thanks for watching, everyone.